Hey, what's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Working on my 67 Chevelle for the Blue Ox Model Shop Street Machine Group Built. Gonna go ahead and uh, put some carpet down. We're gonna go with charcoal, and I thought it might be a good chance to kind of give a quick overview on how I do the flocking on some of these. I've had a few people ask. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use charcoal flocking. This is Ken's Custom Fuzzy Fur. This stuff goes a long way, so I'm, I'm gonna bust some here and there, but overall, I've got a box, tons of different colors, stuff that I bought when I think I was about 16 or 17 at an NNL West from a guy, and I still have a whole slew of them. So I've got my flocking. Today I'm gonna use semi-gloss black paint. Sometimes I'll use a matte clear or a clear coat and brush it on. Should be you know, something like that. Uh, but today, doing charcoal, I'm going to go ahead and use some semi-gloss. So I've got a couple sheets of paper down, got my little strainer. And so, this is initially gray. I painted it gray and was going to do it in gray, but I'm not overly happy with the paint. I'm going to clean up the seats and repaint them, or I may even change the color. But in the meantime, I thought I'd do... Go ahead and get the carpet done. So what I do is just uh, kind of dab the paint on a little heavier than I would if I was just painting it. I try to leave where the, the this kit having the side panels. I go ahead and try to leave that area clear just because I want the panels to sit in the way they're supposed to in the slot so I don't want to fill it with paint and flocking same with the tabs for the seat I'd, you know whether it gets under the seat or whatnot that that I don't care about I just don't want to fill up my tabs where the seats go and then have the seats not sit down the way they're supposed to now, I know part of this is going to have a center council that's going to sit down, so I'm not overly worried with some of the area here, which I'll show you guys once I get the paint on. You can, depending on the area you, you are working with, you can either try to get the whole area prepped and uh, just flock it the one time, or you can do it in sections. Again, I... I kind of tend to look at the area I'm doing. Now this has some little mats, but they're pretty generic, just molded in plastic. So I'm not worried about those. If anything, I will get something else to use. Using the semi-gloss black paint, I can do a bigger area because it's not going to kick off. If I was using a flat black, I'd have to be putting flocking down already or the paint would start to dry up. I'm going to go ahead and just do this whole section here because, again, it's not that big. We're going to get it hopefully in one spot. And if I have any light areas, I can go back and add to this if, if necessary. But normally if you get your, your paint or clear down and you get the flocking down good, and give it a little bit of a press, you should be fine. Okay, now I've got where the back seat's going to go, so I'm not doing the whole section back here. And I'll show you guys the area I've got. I'm just going to do a little ways up the floor here on the firewall. It doesn't have to go all the way up. It'll be, be like your card go a little little ways there 
around where your kick panels are on the side if you had those but so what I've got looks like that so now what I'm gonna do take just a little bit and go over that first area which it's still okay plenty tacky and that's really all you want is a good good tacky area for the flocking to stick to when I first started doing this I was using white glue thin down with a little water um, and it it worked and when it dries it's nice when you use a clear if you use a light color eventually you end up with that yellow haze after a number of years well it sounds funny but I have a couple that's done that so the reason I'm using my paper here is to make sure I collect all the excess because that'll go back back in the tube for future use I'm not worried about the engine and stuff here because uh, it'll just get blown off so I'm going to go ahead and put a little more colors like this charcoal black white I try to keep a few on hand because they're fairly common colors so what I'm going to do right now is get a good amount of this flocking down okay so what I'm going to do so what I'm going to do here is just gently press this flocking down over those areas where the paint is and that's going to allow that to just bite in there to the paint get make sure it's really covered good but again this you'll be surprised if you've never done this how much is going to come off and go back in our tube here for the next use a tube of flocking will go a really long way So I just, I start out pushing really gently and then I'll start to push a hair more, but again, you, you really don't have to push too hard here, but that's why you want that. I like the semi-gloss white or black or grays, whatever you're doing. Uh, you can, like I say, you can use flats, but they kick off quicker. So depending on the area, you might have to do it in halves or quarters, which is fine. You know, I've done plenty of those too. Uh, but it's nice on something like this when you can just kick it all on there. Get it down. So now what I'm going to do is just take and you can see all that coming off. Hopefully our engine don't fall out, right? Our firewall. Alright. So you can kind of see what we've got here now. Let's see if we can pick this up. Actually, yeah, let me go ahead and put the set the seats in here and give you a little bit of an idea of what you're going to have hard to tell here because the areas I left open let's see let me go ahead and put the excess back in the tube here so you can kind of see how much is left so we went from emptying the tube on here to having all that back in there so when you look at where we started what we have now it looks like it barely moved all right so
Alright. That would be in there. Man. I don't know if I got my center council handy just to cover up the blank spot there. Let me take a look. So I have it hanging up and yeah, I don't think I got it here with me. I think it's on a stick from when it was being painted, but anyways. I'll try and give you an idea. Okay. Kind of gives you a idea of how that'll look. You'll have your panels, your councils, so what you'll see when you look in will be the carpet in there. You won't have the bare areas. I'll I'll get a picture up as I get the rest of it cleaned up. But that gives you a gives you an idea really quick on like I say some some flocking there for those that have never experimented with it really not that hard great way to add some detail well I'll probably do the package tray sometimes i'll do the top of the dash depending on the build the year the style car i'm building headliners so yeah anyways guys i uh, hope you enjoy this if i get a little cleanup work done or find that piece i'll get another picture at the end of the video have a good one everybody all right guys so Really quick, I went and did the package tray, or I'll probably add some photo etch speakers and just set the seats and the center council on. Um, give you an idea. Okay, so that's how I look with the charcoal carpet package tray. I don't know if I'll do the top of the dash or not. Once I get an idea with the uh, dash where it sits in the door panels, I'll go ahead and decide if I have to go any further up the inside of the firewall. Otherwise, I'll black that out. But I may go ahead and make a straight line just to clean it up. Uh, but again, just a quick little video. Kind of show you how to do some of the flocking. Very simple, very easy, quick way to add some nice detail, guys. So again, Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Happy Monday. Hope everybody's having a good night. We will catch you later.